<clears throat> Today we're going to cover how to fill out the show report form for the club. First page is just a cover page here. Give you some directions. Always include a copy of the exhibitor list from the show, which you can pick up at the main table of any show. Always use a separate report for open and junior shows, and double shows will require two reports per open and junior. So you could be doing up to four reports at the same show. Below then is the information on where to send your completed report with the exhibitor list. And below that you'll find a glossary of abbreviations that are handy to use on the form. The second page is where you start filling out your information. Begin with the show name, the location of the show, the dates when the show was held, including month, day, and year, the name of the show secretary, the secretary's contact information in case there's any follow-up questions we need to have answered, who judged the show that the report is being filled out for. Below that, we have what we refer to as level of show. This could be a special show, a state show, a district show, or a national show for the club. And if you're showing your birds in a show that is not designated as such, you can just leave this blank or write a note off to the side. Then you'll see the type of show. Open class or junior. The reason it says open one, open two, junior one, and junior two is in the event of a double show so we know which report is for which show. Directions for completing the form. When recording the variety use the standard recognize name when available. For example, golden instead of golden laced. <clears throat> Be sure to note the subvariety. This is very important because there are many subvarieties within our breeds. When you are counting the total of birds, if there is a bird that is disqualified or it is not present, it does not count towards the total of that variety. If the variety is not yet officially recognized, such as Tollbunt, Candy Corn, Creole, White Crested, Mottled, or others, then record that variety as it is entered on the show tag. If more varieties are shown than one sheet can handle, simply add a secondary sheet as needed. If you don't have one on hand, just record it on the back of the sheet and transcribe it when you get home. And finally, specify the breed where applicable. Here is our first sheet for recording the results of the show. There are four sheets in total, one for large fowl Polish, one for Bantam Polish, one for large fowl Crevacours, Houdins, and Sultans, and finally, one for the Bantam, Crevacore, Houdan, and Sultans. This is where listing the breed along with the variety comes in on those breeds. So the first thing you'll do is you'll note your variety. For example, I'm going to write B Golden for Bearded Golden. Now we already know that this is going to be on the large fowl. In this show, there were three exhibitors with a total of five birds judged. You will then refer to the exhibitor list. And in this scenario, we're going to say exhibitor number two had a hen who was champion continental. 
This is the highest ranking bird for that variety. The second highest ranking bird in the judging we're going to say belong to exhibitor number three in this scenario and it was a cockerel which is what the K stands for and their highest, highest award was reserve of breed and then you would continue this process with each variety so for example if there were bearded goldens and bearded golden frizzles present at the same show those would be two separate lines and they would be filled out as such P for pullet, best variety, C for cockbird, reserve variety. You would repeat this process with the Bantam Polish on their corn as well as the other breeds. The next page would be for large fowl breeds that the club covers such as Crevacores, Houdans, and Sultans. In this situation we're going to place a modeled Houdan, and black crevacore, and a white sultan. In this scenario, we're going to say there was one exhibitor of model Houdans with one bird judged. And that exhibitor, number one, had a pullet who received best of breed. Since there was no other birds present, we would cross these lines out. On the crevacore, let's say there's three exhibitors, and they're judging a total of six birds. So exhibitor number one, according to the exhibitor list and the cards on the show coops, had a hen who received best of breed. And we can also have an instance where exhibitor number one had another hen who took reserve of breed. The white sultan, we will say, had two exhibitors with four birds judged. We will say exhibitor number two had a hen who took champion of her class, AOSB, and that same exhibitor had a pullet who took reserve AOSB. The reason is important to have this filled out in its entirety along with the exhibitor list is so that we can verify which exhibitors were present at the show and assign the points correctly based on calculating the number of birds present at the show as well as the highest awards won by those individual birds. If there are, for example, no Bantam Polish, then that page would not need to be filled out or sent in. The same goes with the page for the Bantam Crevacores, Houdens, and Sultans. Once that is completed, 
you would need to either scan the forms, including the exhibitor's list, and email them to the address provided on the first page. or mail them to the address on the first page. The points are calculated in between each newsletter and the newsletter will provide a list of shows that have been calculated during that time. This allows the exhibitor to check and see if their reports have been received and if their points have been calculated at that time. If you have any questions you can contact your district director or any of the other officers. I hope this helps to make the process of collecting the show information simpler and the video can act as a reference when you're at a show if you're not quite sure if you remember the correct way to go about things.